Say you're visiting a house you want to buy. You imagine what it will look like without the current owner's furniture. Instead, you imagine that you'll put your desk over there, the sofa on that side, and the shelf in that corner. You imagine that the room would look nicer with some repainting. And you imagine that the west-facing window will look beautiful at sunset. Well, you don't have to imagine anymore. Using our system, you can take a handheld scan of an indoor scene, and, after some offline processing, directly visualize these changes. Our system takes an RGBD video sequence and produces a complete, radiometrically consistent scene model. This model includes semantically meaningful scene geometry, light emitters, and materials. We use Google's Project Tango tablet as a capture device. Although the depth and color data is of modest quality, the visual inertial odometry, based on a fisheye camera, consistently maintains tracking through large, textureless planar regions that connect like RGBD cameras with smaller fields of view have trouble with. We use the Tango's localization system to obtain camera poses for each RGBD frame and construct a triangle mesh of the scene using Poisson surface reconstruction. Simply using the input images to texture this geometry gives poor results due to auto-exposure. We use a novel radiometric calibration method to recover per-frame exposures that allow us to generate a high dynamic range radiance map of the diffuse appearance of the scene. Notice the large exposure variations in the input on the left. Our simulated constant exposure time result on the right stabilizes all of this variation. We project the calibrated images onto the scene geometry to generate these meshes. Here we show meshes linearly tone mapped and clipped to emphasize the high dynamic range nature of our result. Notice how the window and spotlight areas are all brought within range. The auto exposure in the input sequence allowed us to capture the full dynamic range of the scene. With a radiometrically calibrated scene appearance, we can reason about light propagation in the scene. We consider a small set of flexible models of light emitters. These models include generalized point lights such as spotlights, generalized line lights such as fluorescent tube lights, and distant illumination such as outdoor lighting through a window. Using the scene geometry, we automatically generate a Manhattan world floor plan of the room. We assume that the walls, floor, and ceiling each have constant material properties, and using a physically based inverse rendering framework that accounts for occlusion and indirect lighting, simultaneously solve for light intensities and diffuse reflectances. Here we compare the exposure corrected input video with a video of the empty room with the same camera trajectory, with frames rendered using a path tracer. For more compelling empty room experiences, we automatically model the baseboard as well as window and door geometry. This input sequence is primarily lit by two adjacent windows in the corner, but also has a standing light. This bedroom sequence is primarily lit by the standing light, modeled as a point light. However, there is a small amount of lighting coming from the window near the wall. Our lighting model successfully recreates these effects. This sequence demonstrates many of the scene edits made possible by our model. We first remove the existing furniture, and then add in a table and some chairs. The scene appearance closely matches the original input. In addition to object addition or removal, we can also perform relighting, such as moving the standing light that is the main emitter in the scene. Here we show the sequence from the beginning of this video. We show emptying the scene of its original contents, refurnishing by adding virtual furniture, changing the reflectance parameters of the walls, and changing the environment map used to light the room. We can visualize these scene edits in situ by displaying the mesh on the Tango tablet with baked lighting. This shows the potential augmented reality applications of our system, such as in real estate, furniture retail, and interior design.